Yes. On yes, this please. important question of whether if EU and US converge in the level and the administration of precaution, will the rest of the world be left in the cold? I mean, this is, this is, I'm sorry to say, this is not relevant. It, it could have been relevant in the old world when it was about protection. But in the world of precaution, if EU and US align, it can only be good news for the rest of the world. For the moment, EU and US impose separately their level of precaution to the rest of the world. There is no chicken that will enter the EU market that doesn't fit with EU sanitary standards for chicken. And same for the US. It just happened that the standards are different. So if I'm a Brazilian producer of chicken, I have to segregate my production. And my production process, I need two production chains, one for US and one for EU. And sometimes one for the local market, if the local market is, let's say, substandard. So this question of, in the case of TTIP, it can, if it happens, if it happens, and when it happens, and it's going to be a very long process, it can only be good news for the rest of the world. And, and to my knowledge, Brazil has never been consulted by the US on what a proper chicken is, and Rwanda has never been consulted by Europe on what the proper flour is. They impose the thing because this is their regulatory system and they administrate at their border. And making this more transparent, making this more understandable, making this more early notice would be, in my view, a great progress for transparency and for non-EU or US producers to have time to adapt, for instance, because otherwise it may be a problem for them.